This is how to understand battery notation. Write balanced chemical equations from the shorthand notations below. All right, the important thing to understand about any one of these is that they are anode bridge cathode. And it's kind of like ABC, okay? And what you should also remember is that oxidation occurs at the anode and reduction occurs at the cathode. Oxidation is when the um, species goes up in oxidation state and reduction is when the species goes down in oxidation state. So I can see pretty clearly that for my first one Platinum is not actually involved in the reaction, okay? This is just an inert electrode. I know that because I've got two aqueous species listed here. Tin 4 plus and tin 2 plus. And aqueous things can't be an electrode. You need something solid to be an electrode. So when you do have two aqueous things, you pick something else to be the electrode, and platinum is a good choice because it doesn't usually get involved in redox reactions, okay? All right, now, I know the first set of materials is anode and that it has to be oxidation. So I know that absolutely I have to go from tin 2 plus to tin 4 plus, and oxidation is losing electrons, so that would be plus 2 electrons. Notice I have a balanced reaction, atoms in equal atoms out, charge in equal charge out. I know the other one is a cathode, and reduction occurs at the cathode, so that has to be copper 2 plus, plus 2 electrons, going to copper. Copper 2 plus is being reduced, reduction is gaining electrons, and I'm going down in copper oxidation state. Then it's just a matter of adding these two, and conveniently they both have two electrons, so they cancel out very nicely. My net redox reaction is copper 2 plus plus tin 2 plus going to tin 4 plus plus copper. That is my net spontaneous redox reaction. Okay. Let's look at B. Once again, it is anode and oxidation cathode and reduction. So I know my first reaction is going to have to be an oxidation. So it is going to be Mn going to manganese 2 plus plus 2 electrons. The other compartment is by cathode. I'm going to do reduction on it. That has to be cadmium 2 plus plus 2 electrons going to cadmium. Okay, and when I'm all done, this should be cadmium 2 plus plus manganese. Very nicely, my two electrons cancel out again. Going to cadmium plus manganese 2 plus. Remember, my anode is oxidation, and oxidation is losing electrons and also going up in oxidation state, and reduction is gaining electrons. Okay, so that's how you work battery notation.